Hi, I'm Karen Ingram and I'm the National Nordic Walking Trainer for Wales for British Nordic Walking. And I'm here today um, as part of the Age Cumbria Nordic Walking Project to teach you some stretch exercises that you can do either at home um, as a way of keeping nice and supple and fit or um, as part of your outdoor exercise in your Nordic Walking groups. So um, just a few issues around stretching. Ideally, you want to stretch while you're warm. So um, you might want to do the warming up sequence um, before you start doing your um, stretches. And we're going to run through that together in a moment. Or if not, just make sure you're, you've been up and about, you've been walking about the house, maybe you've gone out for a walk. Um, or if you have been Nordic walking, you would be doing this after your Nordic walk and therefore you'd be feeling nice and loose anyway. Okay, normally we do stretches just kind of once or twice, fairly slowly, and you're holding them, okay? Make sure you're not in any discomfort. So just go into a stretch, normally around about 70%, okay? So you don't want to be going, oh, it feels like I'm going to snap my muscle in half. Just kind of ease into it so... You get a kind of a seven out of 10 sensation, and that's normally around about a good place to stretch yourself out. Okay, be mindful of your own body. Be careful of your environment. Make sure you've got lots of space. You're not gonna knock over any ornaments. And um, just make sure that you work within your own capabilities. If you've got any doubts at all, check in with your Nordic walking instructor or ask a medical professional before you take part in these stretches. Okay, so we're gonna, first of all, just go through a little warming up sequence um, to uh, get you nice and warmed up before we stretch out. So we're gonna go on a walk. So you're just walking on the spot, bringing your knees up in front of you. And you can um, bring your knees gradually a little bit higher. Okay, or take little steps. So just starting to get the body nice and um, warm. Okay, there, we're going to open the door. So you open the doors wide and close them again. Opening out wide and closing. So just warming up our chest. Opening out and closing. So just getting ourselves really lovely and warm. Woo, skinny on my floor. <laughs> and then... All right, and then we keep the doors open and we're gonna step into our kayak and then step out. So just stepping side to side, getting ourselves nice and warm. You can make it a little bit easier by doing the halfway step in the middle, step to the middle, step to the side, step to the middle, step to the side, or you can do a big old side step. Okay, now we're gonna get into our boat and go for a paddle. So grab your paddle. And then off you go, paddling across the lake, paddling forwards. You can make it small or a little bit bigger, depending on how much you want to paddle. We're going to go backwards, big paddle backwards. Ooh. Okay, and then we get to the other side of the lake, we get out of our canoe. We've got slightly wet feet. So we're going to just shake the water off the back of our feet. Shaking the water off, shaking away. Okay, and then on this side of the lake, there's a band playing. So we're going to do rock and roll feet up onto the tiptoes, rocking onto the heels. Just show you sideways. I'm sticking my bum out a little bit to warm the feet up. You can just walk on the spot if you find that easier. Okay, and then we're going to do the twist. So the poles are at the chest. Twisting one way, twisting the other. So just really warming up that waist. Just doing that a few times each way. Okay, and then just having one pole each other. Do mind your furniture in your house and just walking on the spot, swinging the arms from the shoulder to find our way home. Okay, lovely. So we should be really nice and warmed up now. So we're gonna do our stretches. And the first thing we're gonna do 
is open doors again, but we're going to do this really nice and slow. Okay, so hands just on top of your poles or hold onto the tops, feet hip width apart. Then open the poles nice and wide and just lift your chest a little bit, not too much. And so you get a nice stretch backwards and then you bring the poles forwards and you look down a little bit to stretch your spine the other way. So I'm going to show you side on. So you bring the arms up wide and I lift my chest, look up and then nod the head and I'm going to look at the floor and just round my spine a little bit and I'm pulling my tummy right in towards my spine. Just stretch my back a little bit and then I open out and I lift my chest the other way, holding it there. And then I come back and it's a little round shape. Oh, stretching it a little bit like a cat, stretching in the sunshine. And then just coming and standing up nice and tall. Okay, we're gonna do a waist twist, but also adding in the head. This is brilliant for improving the range of movement of your neck, okay, which is great for driving when you have to check your blind spot, things like that. So, Feet hip width apart, try and keep your hips still. So if you kind of soften a little bit as if you were slightly sat down, that helps keep your hips fixed. Then, first of all, you twist the waist as far as you can without your hips moving. Now turn your head and look over your shoulder. And then with your eyes, look right out the corner of your eyes. And then look back and twist all the way back. So we twist with the waist, you turn the head, then look with your eyes out the corner of your eyes, and then come back to the center. And we do that one more time each way. So twist just the waist first, then turn the head, look right over your shoulder. With your eyes, try and see as far behind you as you can. Then you come all the way back. And again, you twist from the waist. Look over your shoulder. Look with your eyes. And then you come all the way back. Lovely. That's such a good exercise to do. You could try and do that a little bit every day. It's quite nice to do in a chair as well. Um, and if you don't have your poles, you can just do it, you know, with your arms like this, sat in a chair. Um, something you can do in the advert, advert breaks when you're watching telly. Great, great way to keep your neck muscles um, moving. Okay, next exercise is really all about widening the collarbone, opening out the chest. So you're going to have both poles out in front of you. Then bring your poles into your thighs and push quite strongly pull your shoulder blades together and then look and look straight ahead and the arms come up so you bring the poles in pull your shoulder blades back look and look straight ahead arms return and then again, you press into your thighs pull the shoulder blades back look one way Look the other way, straight ahead, and then just relax the arms. Okay, this stretch really is for the shoulders and your arms. And you're going to have your poles this way round. Can you see my palms are facing forwards? And then I've closed my grip. Okay, so my feet are hip width apart. First of all, I'm going to shave up my back and I'm going to twist my wrist. So it's like you were trying to show me your wedding ring. Okay, keep your belly pulled in. Then you straighten the arms behind, stretch your collarbone, come into your seat. So you shave up, straighten and reach the arms out wide, come into your seat. And again, you shave up to stretch out your collarbone, keep your tummy pulled in, reach the arms away and into your seat. Now reverse, so you bring the arms out. Now come in up as high as you can, show me your wedding ring, slide down your bum. Arms come out, come in up high, shave down, 
and lift the arms up and then just bringing the arms down to relax. So that should all feel lovely all across here. Now we're going to stretch our bum, a glute stretch. And this is quite hard to do when you're out and over walking, but it's really easy to do in a chair. So I'm going to sit on my chair and, and you actually don't need your poles for this. So you're going to sit on your chair and you, you're going to bring one foot across. We sometimes say this is like sitting like a man, okay? So your knee is going to push down towards the floor and this foot is here. Just lightly hold on and then pull your tummy in and then just round forwards. And the further forwards you go, the more you'll feel this in your buttock of the knee that's up. And you want to aim for a feeling that's like seven out of 10. So don't be like, oh, that's good of me. Just seven out of 10. And what you'll find is after a while, that stretch starts to ease. And then you can just lean forwards a little bit more. Okay, and then when you finish, sit up tall, change feet. So now I bring my other foot across. I'm a lot tighter this side. So this knee's going to drop down towards the floor. So that tall to begin with, I feel that already. Okay, and now pull your tummy in a little bit and then just round forwards till you get your seven out of 10. Much tighter this side I am. So to you, and just hold there, stay there for kind of around 30 seconds. And just, or till you feel at ease, till your seven out of 10 drops to a six. Then if it does do that, mine just as eased, I can come forwards a little bit more, get back to a seven. Okay, and then bringing your um, foot back down. Okay, then back up and coming. Now we're gonna stretch out the front of the hip, hip opener. So you're gonna have your poles um, just in front of you. Now, bring your toes back, and I'm actually gonna catch my toes, drag my hip forwards, and just lift up, stand up to really lift your heart up. And this is opening out here at the front of the hip. And you can use your poles to help you balance. And just stay there and hold that for 30 seconds. And then bring your foot back. And then we do the other side. So I just bring my big toe back behind, looking up, and I drag my toe forwards, pushing my hips forwards, opening out here, holding it there, lengthening upwards, just opening out my hip. It and then bringing the foot back. Okay, hamstrings, I'll show you a little bit side on. So you can take a step forwards with one foot. Okay, I'll just move back a bit so you can see my feet. All right, then it's like you're gonna sit on a chair. So you bend your back knee, stick your bum right out. You should feel this down here, okay? Keep your foot flat on the floor to begin with. And then and really lift your hips. It's like someone's grabbed you here and then pulling you up with your trousers, that then gives you a nice stretch. And keep your back long. If you collapse, you don't feel it anything like as much. Sitting down into it. Okay, and then you stand up. We change legs, so you step forwards with the other leg. Stick your bum out, bend that knee, and you hinge forwards from the hips. And reach your bum out to the wall behind you. Keep your back lovely and long and straight. Hold it there for 30 seconds. And then come and stand up. Okay, and then we're just gonna do a really nice shoulder roll. So bring your shoulders right up to the ears and around and down the back. And up and around, just really stretch those shoulders up to the ears. And then the other way, so up and around. And up and around, up and around, and then bring your shoulders right up to your ears, drop them down, boom, and stand lovely and tall. Brilliant, well done. You can enjoy the rest of your day, or you could go on to do either balance or coordination, and there's also strength. Okay, see you soon.